Hi folks, welcome to Bird Dogs of Field TV. We have a, an exciting episode for you today. Uh, we visited the Northern New Hampshire Field Trial Club and their annual field trial, which is usually held in early May, organized and managed by uh, Lloyd Murray, who does an excellent job. It's a very well organized event. This year, it rained, and I mean it rained. We were there on Sunday, the second day of the trial, uh, but it rained both days. And that's a problem because the quail, and these are pin raised quail that they put down for the dogs, uh, they won't fly and they'll barely even run in this cold, wet rain. We did get one brace filmed and, and you'll see some good dog work. And we filmed some activities around the registration tent, which are fun too. So I hope you enjoy this uh, episode, and uh, let's get going. Lloyd, what do you got down now? Okay, well, what we got going is the puppies have started. We started at 7. The shooting dogs are going out up there. First brace. We drew 24 shooting dogs. We drew 104 dogs total. So we're really, we had to add another course because we're running out of course and time. We couldn't, we didn't have enough daylight to run that many dogs. So today's going to be a little scary because these quail are going to get wet. And then they can't fly. And then it gets ugly. Yeah. So some people will scratch their dogs probably. I'm not sure. All right. We had a good day yesterday. It was a great day, yeah. And we nice finished day. about six. Yeah. We started at seven. We had 26 open shooting dogs. We had derbies. We had puppies. We had derby qualifiers. It, it was a full day and a good day. Yep. Good. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete and brought to you in part by Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, takes on the nuisance of foot odor. Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. Tim Pond Wilderness Camps, the place you've been looking for but didn't know how to find. You want to stay dry, Wubba is the rule. <laughs> hey Lloyd, we got good news and bad news. The good news is we got a fire, the bad news is we burnt your teepee down. This is Judge Deb Sloan. Hi, hi, Judge Deb Sloan. That's some awkward. Right? She's judging the amateur derby today. In the rain, this is going to be fun. All those birds Bad are going to be me. flying like grouse. First race of the amateur derby. We got Soda Pop, English Setter Female, Nick Hamill, Lucy, English Setter Female, Tom Richardson. You all set, Tom? I'm ready. <laughs> This is Kelly Hayes. She was one of our judges yesterday. Hello. She's a very good judge. <laughs> and she doesn't mind the rain. No, especially with a new coat. Definitely don't mind the rain. Folks, this brace is a, an amateur derby steak. And you're going to see something unique here. <clears throat> the two handlers and trainers here are both Grand National Grouse Championship winners. And that's very unique, and they're both from Maine, too. Uh, you're going to see Kelly Short and her dog, Jaeger, and then you're going to see Russell Ogilvy and his dog, Rebel. And uh, so this will be exciting and a, a very unique situation. We're going to show a lot of the, the dogs working, their range, etc. Uh, so it's not all pointing. Uh, watching them work is also fun and you're gonna see that, and you're gonna see some good points. You ready? You ready? All righty. Oh. 
Whoop. Whoop. I think that's him right there. Oh. Damn, up through there. Oh. Bell set up. I'm right behind yeah. you, buddy. All right. Oh. Ah, uh, what's an easier way to go? Oh! 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 Where are you, nerd dirty little bird? Oh. I'm coming from that way. Oh. Well. Everything looks like a dead wet quail. Oh. Hey. He's getting sent over here. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess I gotta move them on. Okay. Oh. You gotta get cold fast, buddy. Careful. Close. Whoop, whoop. Bird up there. I got it right here. See you right. Ready? Whoa. Got it. Whoop. Whoa. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll go right back. Right across. Yeah. Right. Boy. Oh, boy, bud.
Оп! Оп! Так. Оп! 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 Oh. Oh. I know, man. Oh. You want to get to your dog? Yep. Oh. Oh. Bird right here. Where? Right there. Okay. Oh yeah, right on the stump. Oh jeez. Um. <laughs> You're fine. Whoa. Can I just shoot? I don't want to throw it in front of you. Just lay an egg too. Push your mouth. Just, yeah, just push it. You're fine. I'm off. Whoa. 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 Okay. Whoa. Whoa. See, he saw that. Hi folks, you know if you have a new puppy you need to be very very attentive as to what you're feeding that puppy. Native puppy level 3 is what you need. It's a great start for your pup. None of the unwanted grains like soy, wheat, corn are in there. So puppy level 3 and then 
From there, you go on to the native level two, three, or four, whatever fits your schedule. Check it out, puppy level three for your puppy. This is the George Johnson Amateur Derby Classic, and those of us who knew George loved him to death. We lost him a few years ago. And our judges are Deb Kennedy from Hanover, New Hampshire, and Deb Sloan from North Monmouth, Maine. Both accomplished setter girls, ladies, excuse me. We the result those kind queens. of terms. It's queens. person. For queens. Queens. Yeah, both queens. <laughs> Third place, Jaeger. Kelly Short. Nice. Right there, we got some dog food coupons for you. Okay, thank you. Thank Second you. place, Rebel, Russell Ogilvy. Russell is judging the shooting dog right now, and he is also the winner of the Grand National Rouse Championship, defending Not champion. Not today, but um, <laughs> so here's his ribbon. And first place is Ellie hey. with Trevor London. Oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> I don't think she never does that. 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 Ever. So Ever. Oh, I wish you I did that. Told you she did a great job. Thank you. The Thank unfortunate you. thing nice going, is, buddy. Thank you. now he's... Oh, we gotta get a picture! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's nice. my little mate, my his, his, his sister. That's, these are Studley's last two puppies. Any relation to her? No. Okay, just curious, but right on. Congrats. Yeah, well, yes, cousins, cousins, right. cousins. Yeah. Well, we should grab it off, man. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd appreciate Let's, that. Nice work. Don't yeah. take the shit off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that was great. That was great. <laughs> these two are litter mates. They are brother and sister out of Houchex Black Bur Pearl, ble bred to Long Gone Studley, who is no longer with us. These are, are his last puppies. Perfect. Paul, Paul, don't Paul, dig, don't Paul dig let, me, let me tell you something. This is Deb Kennedy. She just published a book. Tell Paul about your book. I just yeah. published a novel called Jane's Cure, a historical novel about a midwife. And her pen name is D.K. Kennedy, and you can get it at most bookstores. You can get it at any bookstore. <laughs> you have to order it, but you can get it at any bookstore. And well, how do they Amazon. order it? Through Amazon. You can get it through Amazon. D. Tell K. me the Kennedy. name again. The name of the book is Jane's Cure, and my name, my publishing name is D.K. Kennedy. Wonderful. All right. First edition's out. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I certainly enjoy being at the field trial and, and meeting all of the trialers and their dogs. And uh, it was fun to, to follow that one brace. Uh, and we saw some good dog work there. So I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for being with Bird Dogs of Field. And I hope to meet you in the field someday. Bird Dogs of Field, presented by Native Performance Dog Food and brought to you in part by Pete Shoe Dryer. Mud River Dog Products and Tim Pond Wilderness Camps.